Hey, this is Sarah, your Socially Awkward Seller, and I'm coming at you with a haul video. Um, I went to some of the 50% off sales for Martin Luther, Luther King Jr. Day, and um, I wanted to share those items that I bought yesterday. Um, <clears throat> I'm sitting on the floor in my very humble bedroom um, because I am surrounded by puppy faces, little doggy faces, and I thought I would show you them at the end of the video. But, of course, right now they're both sleeping. You may hear some doggy snoring through the course of this video. It's just a risk I was willing to take. So, let's just jump into this. I spent about $250 um, yesterday, $260 yesterday. And I got some decent things. I got some real crap, too. I'm excited for you to see it all. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, a Cars race track situation. Um, you all know I like to buy these things and part them out. This one has um, a lot of the cars in it. Uh, Mater is in there. Luigi is in there. Hudson is in there. Um, I don't know if Lightning McQueen is in here or not, but six bucks for this. Um, whether I sell it whole or part it out, it's a, I'll be, it'll be a nice return. Um, <clears throat> I also bought this uh, VTEC Smart Wheels Go-Go racetrack train something. But um, I do okay with these generally. Um, I did get the entire, like it's a whole play set. Um, and it's got a couple of cars in there. I think I paid about $4 for that. Um, it, I've taken it out of the, um, the plastic, so I don't remember how much. But um, that'll also part out well. Now, I went deep on these, and um, I don't know that I should have, but I was willing to take a shot. So I think I bought about 40 of these, and I paid $12 because there were four, box, four lots of 10, and um, they were $3 per, for each lot. And it's just a U.S. Army <clears throat> um, pay, notepad, um, writing tablet. And I just thought they were really cool. <clears throat> you may get these for free in the military. I have no idea. But um, I thought I will sell them in lots, maybe a four, um, and try to get like 10 bucks a lot. So that would be 10 lots. So about a hundred bucks um, on my $12 investment. I don't know if that's how it's going to go. I couldn't find anything similar. So I really didn't have anything to compare it to. I will just kind of figure out where I want to go with that. In the same vein, <clears throat> I ended up buying about 30 or 40 of these. And these were also $3 a lot. There are also 10 in each package. And these are... Um, battle dress BDU pocket size notebooks. So, you know, the, the, basically the cargo army pants, usually they're the, the dark color ones, like black or dark blue. Um, like I know anything about the military cause I don't, <clears throat> but these fit in those pockets and they're just spiral bound notebooks. Um, it does have security instructions on the back. It's got the phonetic alphabet on the back which, you know, is handy for, I don't know what, um, in your daily life. But I will also lock those up. I did not find anything similar to that, so I don't have anything to compare it to. We'll just see. Um, so I think I've got about 9 or $12 in those because I don't remember exactly how many of those I bought. So, um, not exciting, but something new and different. Um, I bought this lot of ink for a dollar. It's not the greatest, like, resell, but, you know, you do what you can. Um, it, it, for a dollar, it will, it will bring you back a few dollars. Um, I bought these two. I don't know what was with paper yesterday, but I wanted to buy notepads. Um, these are a couple of, these are horse themed, and I probably will sell these in lots of two, um, for like eight ninety nine plus shipping or something like that, or maybe three. But um, this one says, the saddle makes my butt look big. And this one says, hold your horses. And then there is one other one that is different. Um, but I ended up buying two packs of about like that. Um, and they were $2 each. And these were um, not at the 50% off sale. So the actual price that's marked is what I 
paid for it. Um, I bought three bags of these Legos. This was the 50% off sale. Um, and these were $6.99 each. So I ended up paying about $10 for three bags of them. And um, they have some mini figs in them. Um, and I think I will give the rest of the Legos to my grandson because he, he loves Legos. Um, but I want to take the mini figs out because I seem to sell those better than uh, the Legos. Those do well by the pound or if they're a complete set. I picked up a couple of these post-it correction tape rolls. Um, I don't know that these are worth anything, but they were in a bag that had scissors that I wanted. And I, my daughter thinks I am obsessed with scissors, and perhaps I am. Um, but I just feel like you can never have too many because they always turn up missing or they get dull or they break. So but that's just my two cents. Um, I paid $2.50 for this. This is um, from Lily and Vernon. It's called The Year of Love and it is 12 floral scented heart soaps. So if you have a sweetheart and you really don't love her, this would be the perfect gift because every woman wants a box shaped like this that doesn't have chocolate in it. That is not true and it will never be true. Um, but this is 12 soaps and somebody will buy it. A lot of people like Lily and Vernon. Hell, somebody bought it in the first place and donated it and then I bought it again so it's been bought twice already. Um, but it's got that imagine your grandmother. That's exactly what it smells like. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm just saying that someone in my age group, or especially younger, would never buy that. Um, this is called a box of stars. I paid a doctor, a, do a doctor for it. I, a doctor and a nurse. No, a dollar for it. Um, and it is a practical guide to the night sky and its to its myths and legends. Um, and while you can get a lot of the constellations and stuff on apps, sometimes it's better, in my opinion. I like to have something paper, something tangible to hold and, and look through. So I thought this might even be good for homeschool. So we'll see what happens. I didn't look really hardly anything up yesterday. Um, <clears throat> I just threw crap in the car because that's what I do. Got a lot of flatware. I paid three dollars and fifty cents uh, in for this, and this has got the salt and pants because <clears throat> everybody needs salt and pants. Um, there are salt and pepper shakers set, um, and this is done by Fred. God love Fred. Um, and I don't know what that'll sell for, but again, it's got the flatware with it, which is what I was after. Um, this I paid dollar fifty four. And it's a Bluetooth speaker light show thing for a swimming pool. Um, I don't know if it's worth anything. I just thought it was kind of cool. So, <clears throat> we'll see. I may be able to get 10 or 12 bucks out of that. Maybe not. Who knows? Uh, I paid a dollar. or No, I paid 50 cents for this. And it's adorable. It is this little king frog. Because, you know, if you're a frog, you may as well be king. Uh, sitting on a throne on top of a thermometer. And this is like a little little bug sitting at the bottom um which is kind of morbid if you think about it because don't he doesn't he eat him i'm just saying um but it is an outside thermometer i guess it could be an inside thermometer if you wanted it to be um and it is kind of heavy like it almost feels like cement here and then like some other kind of very smooth um cement situation on the outside. So maybe this is concrete and this is cement. I don't know. I don't know my manufactured stone. Um, I picked these up. I paid a dollar or 50 cents for them. I don't remember. We tore them out of the package yesterday, but these are three Five Nights at Freddy plush. And um, they're the ugliest things, but kids like Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, but this is a little, a little plush. And then these are two of his friends or henchmen, if you will. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Oh, anyway. Uh, paid just a little bit for those. And I probably will lot those together and sell them all together since they're small plush. Um, this is not really old, but I love the way it looks. Uh, it is Boston's Chinese Tea. 
and um, this I paid 50 cents for. It's not old. It's got a barcode on it, but it, I just thought it was really a nice looking tin. Um, so we'll throw that up and see what sticks, you know, so that's all you can do. I picked up this Breville. Let me see if I can pick it up. I picked it up once. I can't pick it up again. Ugh. I picked up this Breville juicer. Um, I think this has not been used. I paid $15 for this. Um, and this is the JE98XL. If you're into Breville juicers, juicers, you'll know that's a pretty decent one. Um, and I should be able to part this thing out and get somewhere in the neighborhood of a hundred dollars in part um, relatively easily. And then I broke it. Uh, I did not break it. Oh, here's some more of those little horse. Um, this one says things to remember. Apparently dogs remember more than horses because he's relying on the dog. And then there is one other different one, I think, that's got this little horse singing. It says a little, a little note for you. And there's the note right there. Okay. All right, I'm over that. Anyway, people like that kind of stuff. And, you know, horse people and cat people and dog people, they're all kind of crazy. Uh, I'm not throwing shade because I'm surrounded by dogs, remember? And y'all all remember Cat Sandy and Cat Pixie and how crazy I was about Cat Sandy and Pixie. And I still am crazy about them. I just don't see them really anymore. Um, so I bought some um, ornaments yesterday. I was kind of into it. Um, I paid a dollar for this bag. And, um, you know, if you're into my videos and you like what you see here, you could always give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Isn't that a funny, a funny, uh, ornament? But anyway, uh, yeah. Do you ever get tired of my puns? Look at this little guy. He's kind of on the ugly side of cute. Um, I have a kiss me. I'm a Buckeyes fan and it is a little ornament with a uh, mistletoe. Um, I bought these in Ohio, so thus the Buckeyes fan situation. There's a couple of other Buckeyes. Um, these are all new with tags. Here's this little deer with alpaca fur or some kind of fur. Um, here's a little gnome. Little gnome fact, this guy's got a beard. Oh. Um, little purse, cute little purse. WTF, oh, I think it's a dragon, uh, or a uh, dinosaur, maybe a pterodactyl. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. This is why I, I shouldn't spend so much time alone. Um, here is a TV that says Buckeyes live from Ohio State. Um, I think there's another Ohio, Ohio State um, ornament in another bag. Oh, and here's an Ohio, Ohio State. I think I'm going to lot all these together. And that will more than get me my money back for uh, my little ornaments here. Let's see if I can keep from breaking these. Because you know, you know how I do. You know. Um, but I like little tchotchkes like that. And not everything is a home run. I wish it was, but it isn't. And I enjoy doing what I do. So, home run or not. I picked up some um, yarn yesterday. I bought four bags like this. I ended up paying $1.50 for each bag, so $6. Um, I don't think this is like super expensive yarn, but it was just interesting looking. And I'm gonna lot this together and see what I can get for it. Um, I bought a cow and a tutu. Everybody needs one of these. And if you don't have one, there's one right here for sale. And I suggest that you rush, run, don't walk, to go buy a cow and a tutu. All right. Um, Again, with the Christmas ornaments, I don't know what I was doing. I paid $2.50 for this bag. And it is 
essentially, oh, that's stuck in there. I'll have to deal with that later. Let's see if I can break it. Nope. Um, this is a little glass pink ballerina slipper ornament. And I probably have about five or six of these. And I'll, I'll make a multi-quantity listing. I'll list these for like $4.99 plus shipping. Uh, I didn't expect to get rich on these when I bought these. Um, but... It'll make a, it'll be a nice little thing. Um, these are, uh, clearly I don't know what I'm doing, uh, little ceramic ballerina slippers. This would be cute taped on the front of a, a gift, but that's my, my suggestion. Who cares? Uh, a little pink rocking horse. I don't, I don't this is plastic. You can tell because it's not cold. Glass is cold. Plastic, not so cold. Um, I guess a Victorian style or, or a romantic style tree. You would want these little swans. And I do have a couple of those. And this video is probably going to be really long because I have a lot of stuff to go through. But do we really care? No. Maybe I'll break it into two parts. I probably won't. I break. I just broke this into two parts. Yep. Because it's supposed to have like a little bow on the front. And I just popped that off. Oh, well. You live, you learn. Or you don't. Live, learn, not live. You, you're, you're still alive if you're watching this. Uh, another one of these, another one of these. Yeah. Uh, I picked these up. They're like a little homeschool thing. Um, they're just like numbers uh, and practice writing. So they're kind of a math and an alphabet thing and, and a writing thing in one fail swoop. Uh, probably won't bring me much, but who cares, right? what I like. So this is, okay, when Jessica first saw this, she thought these monkeys were pulling on some kind of like weird DNA strand or something until she saw the front. Um, this is monkeys pulling on an ape, monkeys pulling, playing tug of, tug of war with an ape. Um, this is kind of beat up and could be repaired. I think there is some monkeys missing. Um, this is Bombay and Country Con Company. Uh, I paid four dollars and fifty cents for this. I'm gonna try and squeeze out thirty bucks, even in the condition it's in. Um, I, I will clean up those edges and touch them up um, so they're not so noticeable, and I'll just disclose the the broken parts. Um, and somebody still may want it, and I still may not. Uh, here is. A Remington razor. I paid a dollar fifty for this. I probably will just end up selling the charger for it. Probably. I'll probably just end up doing that. How about that? Oh, more of these writing tablets. I got writing tablets for days and days and days. Uh, I got this little box, a uh, little bag of stuff. I paid a dollar fifty for. Not a dollar fifty four. For this, I paid a dollar fifty. Um, and I was just kind of interested in these. I don't buy like salt and pepper shakers very much because I'm just not into them, but I just love the look on their face. Huh? See, look, triplets. Um, but these are marked Inesco, I think. Uh, but cute. And, um, they'll... They'll bring me a couple of dollars. Um, this probably won't bring me anything. It's a little German Shepherd holding a welcome sign. A little cheap little resin thing. Um, this um, little horse here <clears throat> is one of those glass horses. And um, he's got a broken leg. So I'm sad to report that later I will be taking him out behind the head, this shed and, you know, uh, it's just a fact of life. I'm so sorry. But, you know, that's the way the horsey crumbles, unfortunately. Let's put that up there. I know, my humor is not funny. Um, and then this is like an interesting block of wood. I don't even think it's that interesting, but it is wood. Okay, 
moving right along. I don't think I can sell this, uh, so I bought it. Let me clarify. I paid a dollar fifty for this, and this is a Medtronic um, implanted MRI uh, SureScan pacemaker. Okay, so I don't think I can sell this because the last time I checked, I'm not a medical professional or a heart surgeon or any of that. But my plan is to sell like a replacement cord um, or a manual or something like that. We'll see. And if I think it's like too, too much liability to sell that, I will not. Um, I picked this up for $1.50. It's a bag of broken shit. Um, it is actually, I don't understand what they were thinking here. So they took one of those like little glass sculpture things that had all that little squiggly glass, you know, that's very fragile. And they stuck it in here with a couple of brass heavy things. And then they slammed it around a little. Um, I bought it for the shamrock that's in here because I have sh sold that shamrock before. It's got some poem or something on the back. And then there is a copper ashtray in here. Um, that's why I bought a bag of broken shit pardon my language. And this is why I have glass all over me. Um, I didn't break any. Uh, this is a, a margarita a glass ornament. Because I'm just asking for trouble. Um, that is not why I bought this. Uh, a really, really Bad snowman. Okay. Um, here's a cute little ornament. It says it is Harvey Lewis. I wonder. I don't know if that's a thing. Um, but it's an M with crystals. It might go to my friend Marcy because Marcy starts with an M. Marcy. Just had her first grandbaby. Well, she didn't have it technically, but uh, you know what I mean. Um, here is a little stormtrooper ornament. Um, this feels almost feels metal, but it isn't. Like it's very slick, like metal is. Uh, here is a little believe ornament. Some of these I probably will just be lighting up. Unless you want one, then just send me a message. I'd be happy to send it to you. Um. I think this is just from like Walmart or something, but it's some antlers with bells. So if you're a deer and you can't find your antlers, you may be able to shake things around and see if you can hear bells. I wonder if that's a, a real problem for deer. Um, here is a little counted cross stitch that I paid uh, 35 cents for. It won't bring me a lot, but it'll, it'll snatch me a, key, a couple bucks. And I ain't mad about that. Um, I picked up these drawer pulls. Um, I sold some very similar to this yesterday in the video, uh, but these have these like brass um, back plates, which I thought were kind of interesting. This was a dollar. I'll probably try to get 10 or 15 back out of that. I have no effing clue why I picked this up. I think it's got some Ikea flatware in it that I wanted to look up. Probably not worth very much. I paid a dollar fifty for this. And why do I buy things that aren't very worth very much? Let me tell you why. Because that's how I learn. Oh yeah, here's that IKEA flatware. Um, that's how you learn things because it needs to be a meaningful, painful experience. And still, sometimes it doesn't work. I picked this up. I paid uh, ten dollars and fifty cents for this. Um, this is an apple um, pin, pineapple apple pin. No. It's a, uh, an Apple Airport Extreme um, time capsule. Um, so I, from what I understand, it's like Wi-Fi and uh, it is storage, hard drive storage. Um, and in working condition, if they have like two terabytes or three terabytes, they're worth about $100. I don't have any of the cords for this. So I'm going to list it for $50 parts and see what happens. Um, and I'm hoping I can get that much for it. But that was another thing that I wasn't even sure what it was. I just knew it was Apple. And I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, somebody farted. Oh. Oh. Anyway. Oh, I can taste it. 
Anyway, uh, I just wanted to learn about that. So that's what that is. I bought this cute little Keebler Elf tin. I'm not really into tins, but they're cute. They're usually cheap. Um, this one came with free cookie crumbs, so you know it's good. <clears throat> uh, this is from the 90s. It's not extremely old. I want to say I saw, like, it's got a dent in it, and it probably didn't have one when I bought it. 1992, um, but somebody will like that. I mean, it's a very cute tin. Maybe if your last name is Keebler. Um, you might be interested in that, or if you just like Keebler cookies. Um, here's the other OSU ornament. Um, it's got a little cooler with some ice in it. Uh, let's see. I picked up a super shooter. I paid three bucks for this, but again, this is something I'll part out. Um, I didn't know anything about these, so I picked them up. They're called Betty Spaghetti. And there's about three or four, maybe five dolls in here. Um, I'll lot those together and give them and sell them. I paid three bucks for those. Um, this is an American Girl Mystery Puzzles. Paid a dollar for this. And it's got four mini mysteries that you solve by solving the four puzzles, I guess. Um, featuring Kit, Samantha, Kaya, and Molly. Well, good on you. It's 300 piece puzzles, even I could do those. I think. Um, this is a little Tony Robbins um, journal that I probably, you know, list for about 10 bucks or something. I paid 49 cents for it. Or maybe 50. I don't know. Um, I've got a lot of these Nancy Drew books that I'm just, you know, buying these when I find them occasionally and adding to it. I paid 50 cents for that or a dollar for that. Um, I just thought this was hilarious. Separated at birth to uh, Leona Helmsley and the Joker. Let's see if I can find something. Oh, dear. Uh, Betty Davis and the mean apple tree in the Wizard of Oz. Do you see the... Oh, that's just mean. I bought that for my own enjoyment. Um, I got Holly. Holly studying... Uh, she had been studying to be a nurse. She has now switched to coding. Um, so I got her this medical terminology flip chart, which I've already bought her one, so I hope that they're not exactly the same. They could be. I ain't gonna lie. Here is a For Real Friends uh, penguin. I don't know if this works or not. I paid a quarter for him, so who cares? I will buy stuff. I don't care. Um... This, I don't know that it goes to my Breville juicer. I don't think it does, but it but it might. Um, but I paid 50 cents for this. And even if it doesn't go to the Breville, um, I'll just figure out what it does go to and sell it. I usually do okay with the juice pitchers. Uh, let's see. Oh, Lord. I buried myself. My legs are asleep. And I can't reach the stuff. I've fallen. I can't get up. Um, more of these. I wasn't joking about having a shit ton of these. All right. What's in here? Um, cute little frosty plush. I paid 35 cents for that. It's in really good condition. It might only be worth a few dollars. But 39 cents into a few dollars. Most retailers are wishing they could do that. This is probably one of the home runs that I hit. Um, I paid $2.50 for these. These feel like they're full. Um, and But this is by Artec. And this is blondes, reds, and reds. Uh, and, but there's two different colors of reds. And this is uh, color de depositing moisturizer with natural botanical extracts. And I have seen these priced between $30 and $90 on eBay. Again, I paid $2.50 for all three bottles. You do the math. Because I don't do math. Uh, more of these. Uh, here is some more of that yarn. And I'm pretty excited to get all this stuff listed. Um, it sounds good, though. I bought two packs like this, and I paid $2 each for them, and I thought 
at this time in, in our country, people need to be, be reminded of their patriotism. Um, some people do. But um, there were quite a few of these uh, like printer paper. They are 30 sheets of stationery. I think I ended up with like about five of those. Um, but there's also a lot of other cool stuff in here. There's some stationery. And then some stationery. Um, stickers and tattoos. Nothing says non-committal like a temporary tattoo. I'm just kidding. Um, tissue paper. Um, envelopes, note cards, uh, note cards, envelopes, stickers, um, and then a couple of, of gift bags. So I thought I would do maybe some little patriotic like gift sets and see how those do. Especially Memorial Day is coming up in a few months. Um, Fourth of July, you know, because People like to write a lot of letters around 4th of July. I don't know what I'm talking about. Why do y'all listen to me? Uh, the real thing is, I bought them. I'm like, these are so cool. I'm getting them, and I will try to sell them. Um, that's the reality. These are stacking animal squares from VTech. So you stack one on the other. I'm sure that they make sounds or talk or music or something. I paid 50 cents for these. Um, there's also like a couple of rando things in here that I won't care about. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can still use my legs. This is a vintage uh, wall plaque or like decoration for Pope John Paul II or Johannes Paulus II. Um, and this is really cool because it's like a 3D kind of thing. It's plastic. Made in Italy. Uh, I paid two bucks for this. I have no idea if it's worth anything or, uh, you know. Uh, but I just thought it was something interesting and, and different and cool. So I bought it because that's what I do. Um, I picked this up for a quarter. And I think I bought it for this Disney Disney store um, Daisy Duck. She probably won't bring very much. But, you know, that's what I'm shooting for. Aim low. Um, this is a Homer Best. Little cute little duck. Um, I'm thinking Easter baskets, grandkids. And here's a cute little bug-eyed owl. I think this is made by Ty. Yeah. Uh, not worth anything. Because uh, if nothing says not worth anything, I'll buy it. Let's see. Okay, this is probably my big buy. I paid $20 for this and um, it is, let me tear this a little bit and I'll show you because some of you won't know what it is and some of you will immediately know what it is. This is Stamping Up ink and and I clearly don't know how to open them. I forget. I think you click it. Open. Okay. Is that how you do it? Lord, help me in my time of need. There we go. Now, let's see how much ink I got on me. Um, so it's an, an ink pad, and it's still good. I'll clean this up. Lord, I'm so... <sighs> Gotta worry about me. Y'all, y'all, send prayers. Anyway, um, <laughs> y'all not let me wipe my face. Um, I bought a storage rack for these that will sell for like 30 35 dollars and it has 52 stamp pads stamp pads and um i think i can sell that whole kit and caboodle for about 150 dollars i think however if i end up breaking these into lots i can probably get somewhere between 250 and 300 which is probably what i'm going to do 
So, um, you know, I'm going to have to go through and, and do some research, but my $20 into $150 is not bad, and if it goes to into $300, that's even better. So, now that I'm covered with ink, ugh, lovely, lovely. Um, so, I also bought these um, writing tablets, and these say camo on the front, and on the back they say U.S. Naval Academy. So, um, these, there are 13 in here. I paid three bucks for that, and I will be lotting those up as well. Oh, I guess I bought two packs of them. Um, and this one has 11 in it. Now, why they couldn't put 12 in one and 12 in the other, I don't know. I, I'm not allowed to ask these kinds of questions. Let's see if I can get through this video without getting schmutz all over my face. I paid $2 for this. This is a brawn stick blender, um, like chopper blade situation. And um, with the blade, I'll probably list this between $15 and $18, unless the um, research doesn't support that. It could be that it, it's worth $10. Bucks. It could be that it's worth $25. Who knows? I don't. Nothing. Got nothing. Um, I bought this big lot of flatware for $3.50. Um, you know, when I'm buying flatware, I don't like to buy um, mixed lots that are like mixed uh, patterns very often unless there's like a lot of each pattern. This one has a few mixed pieces in it but most of it is a Cambridge set and it's kind of a plain, not even kind of, it's just a plain Cambridge set. Like there's no decoration. But uh, that'll sell. Surprisingly so will this. So these are those remember these? like wooden handle flatware. These are all new. Um, there's quite a few pieces of it, maybe 15 or so. I paid $1.50 for it, and that will surprise me at how fast it'll sell and for how much. Um, I picked this up for $2.50. This is native toothpaste. This is a detoxifying charcoal. Um, and then um, native is a small brand um, and they are supposed to be like um, this is fluoride free and I think they they are like they don't use any parabens in their oil they don't lose use uh, oil uh, hair shampoo I mean um, and they don't use um, aluminum in their deodorants and stuff they're kind of an all-natural sort of thing and um, I was just looking at for native deodorant online and I just didn't buy it because it was $12 for deodorant and I'm afraid it won't work very well but it's supposed to but I stink like a $4 bottle or a $4 tube of aluminum loaded you know deodorant I, it takes the heavy duty stuff anyway so I'm probably going to list that if it's still in date um, this is called Spring and Vine Shampoo Bar. Mm, who knows? But it also has this Oil of Olay stuff in it that I can use on this old face. Um, which, not to be confused with this old house. This old face. Let's see. I'm getting down to the nitty gritty, y'all. With more of these tablets. Um, I picked up this is a Canon Selfie, I think. Because um, I was going to do a project with it, and then I realized this one doesn't have an accord with it. Hmm. Oh well. You live, you learn. It was three bucks. Um, and I can sell the tray out of it or something, I'm sure. Um, these were cute. I think I paid a dollar for these. And these are uh, an automatic pencil, a pink and brown ink pen. But look at those little cute little faces. Uh, it's called Friends in Jiju. You got a friend in Jiju. No? 
um, more of this paper. I picked this up. This is a lighted Christmas tree, and um, this is a paint it, paint yourself kind of thing. I paid two dollars and fifty cents for this, and uh, yeah, and I don't know what that is. No clue. Doesn't look broken, but if there's a way, I'll break it. Um, we controller guards. I bought those for us because I don't have some of mine. Don't have them. Um, this little vintage trim. Paid fifty cents for it. I, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna put my grandkids through college or anything, but it'll make me a couple of bucks, and um, those couple of bucks add up. I paid fifty cents for this roll of uh, wallpaper border, and I'm kind of interested to see what it is. Uh, it is dog themed. Is all I can tell. I just uh, don't know. Let's see here. Come on. How cool is that? Somebody will really like that. I wish I wish I had found more of it, but oh and look, it's got a leather belt at the top, like a dog collar at the top. So, um, very cute, very traditional looking, and uh, somebody will like that. It'll be good for like art projects, scrapbooking, whatever. And then, I don't think there's much else. So yeah, there's a few things. Um, this is like a picture frame um, and these two little flags screw into the base. One says law enforcement on it. The other one is, you know, you recognize the other flag. Um, but it's got this little wood base. Really cute. I didn't pay much for that at all. And I'm pretty sure that will sell without any problems. Pick this up. I think it might be complete. It looks like it could be. Um, I think this was like five, six dollars. But it's a good theme. Um, you know, like a lot of lighthouse stuff is really good. People collect it. People like it. Um, perpetual calendar. You know how I love them. Okay, this video is getting way too long. Um, little silver plate trinket box that I paid a dollar for with a little gold top. Very cute. You know, you know how I am about cute. Picked up this Salton um, Laminator and um, I may part this out. I paid two bucks for it. Um, it looks like those sell pretty well. And with some are coming, I don't know, in six months. Um, it could do okay. This is Imagination Station. I paid five bucks for this. And basically, it is some homeschool materials. You know how I love them. You know. Um, so, there's that. And I'll do more research on that. And do not adjust your television set. Um, I thought I was done with this video. And... Turns out I found a bucket of stuff, a tub of stuff that I didn't realize that I hadn't gone over. So nothing exciting really, uh, but this bell pillow, I guess it's exciting if you like bell. This is from Disneyland Resort and I paid a dollar fifty for it. I'm not sure if it's worth anything, but you know, does that stop me most of the time? No, not really. Um, here's a Sony uh, ATM, not an ATM, I wish it was an ATM, answering machine, and I paid three bucks for it, and it should bring me about five dollars, so, you know, you win some, you lose some, and some get rained out, is what my old algebra teacher used to say, um, I got some, uh, col color pencils, exciting, now, I, I bought these Dixon, I like vintage pencils, I'm not sure if those are vintage or not, but I'll check it out. It, they are Dixon Oreo, not Oreo, Oreo, like the bird, like the Baltimore, um, for a dollar. I picked up two of these. They are uh, religious kits uh, to make this little Jesus loves you rainbow kind of thing. Um, and... 
Yeah, I got two of those. I paid $2 each for them, I think. No, a dollar each for them. Um, and I'll sell them for some homeschool project or um, vacation Bible school, if they ever have that again. Um, in a bag of stuff that I don't see right now, I picked up these two, two oh, I think it was in with the pencils, these two um, little packs of, um, they're stickers, really cute stickers. I don't know if they're worth anything, I'll have to look them up. If they are, they're just bonus. There's some more of the Legos. Um, some more of the patriotic stuff. Um, I got this. I paid 50 cents for it. And it's some kind of castle situation that you can build. Like a, it says educational kit. Um, but it looks like a diorama thingy. I just want to say that word. Uh, but again, 50 cents for that. Again, with so much homeschool happening and just schooling at home. It's not even just that people are homeschooling their kids. They're just at home schooling. That confuses me. Um, what's the notepads? I've got a couple of five of those. Um in this patriotic stuff. Some ribbon. And then, looks like some more gift bags. Uh, again, I paid $2 each for those, and I'll do lots and lots and lots. I like lots. Uh, not much, much more. I bought this copy of Emily for a quarter. Um, I, I have never seen this movie, but I'm going to see this movie someday. Um, I picked this up because I just figured I couldn't go wrong with it. It is, I paid 35 cents for this book. And this is a, uh, pop-up sign language book for kids, um, which I thought was really cool. And, uh, I'm going to clean this up and sell it. But, I mean, this is probably not something you see all the time in, like, bookstores and Walmart and stuff. Um... Just a couple more things. I picked up these uh, vintage photo albums because I just thought the art on them was kind of cool. Almost has an, a little bit of an anime kind of feel and also like a 80s pop art kind of thing. Um, and then this one was just cute with the little daisies on it. But I bought this whole bag. I I had to stop myself. I was going to buy a whole bunch of them, but I didn't want to go too deep on these just because I don't think they'll move very fast. Um, here's another one with the daisies on it. And like, this is super cute. Look at that. Even if you didn't want to use these for actual photo albums, they could make um, some other kind of cute little art. Look at that. Anyway, I paid 50 cents for all of these. And then I bought some little LED candles for an upcoming soiree that I'm going on. Sorry, that's messy. Um, or no, noisy, not messy. And then this is the last thing, this little bag of stuff that I paid 50 cents for. And in it, it's got this little willow tree uh, statue. It's called the Angel of Caring. Probably not worth anything couple of bucks, three, four bucks. Um, and I may just hold on to that until I get more of the willow tree stuff. Um, this is like a flower of the month kind of thing. Um, it is May Lily of the Valley, a little glass tchotchke with a mirrored base. Um, a little birdhouse that I probably will just re-donate. It's not worth anything. And this is why I bought that bag. It's this little carved wood cat with very sarcastic eyes um, that I thought was really cool. Because you know, the cat people and the horse people and the dog people we already talked about. Um, anyway, so that, I think, is all the stuff that I bought. 
So let's take you back to your regularly scheduled program. That being said, I'm done. Would you like to see a doggy? Of course you would. Harper. Harper. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look at that stretch. Oh, what a stretch. Come here. Come here, baby girl. Look at that dog. Some dog. Oh, there comes Dukers. Come here, Duke. 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 Come here. Come on. Oh, she's such a sweetie. Come here. Got his cone off. He's so happy. Oh, they've been such a nice addition to our family. And they're so cute. Look at that. Yeah. They're vicious, too. Can't you tell? Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, um, they sleep in here at night and snore, just like I do. And uh, they're doing really well. Like, they're doing really well. So, all right. That's all I've got for you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you giving me this time that we can share together at different times, which is very odd. Um, and just remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working. I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.